Keegan, congratulations through to the final of the PDC Unicorn World Youth Championship. It's a massive, massive achievement for you. Oh, without a doubt. I've been practicing four hours a day since Christmas Day, and you know, it's the only day. Today is the only day I want you know all the practice to pay off. You know, regardless of what Q School has done, is today was the day, and thankfully I've just you know beat Dirk in a six-two contest and. You know, the school doesn't really reflect the true school line, but happy to be at, you know, the O2 and the, pre uh, the Grand Slam in November. Yeah, it's, I guess the, the first thing is was to get through today. How tough's it been? It's been too tough. You know, as much as mine's been, you know, 6 nils and 6 twos, I played a very good Australian, Robbie Green. He's, you know, every time it was 140, 180, and, you know, thankfully I just held in there and, you know, got, you know, a good 6 now and obviously all the rest of victories. I'm just, you know, glad to be at the OT, really. Robbie, congratulations. How do you feel right now after winning through to the final? I can't describe. Um, um, I, I have no words for it. That was my dream, and I, it just came true. <laughs> you, you obviously you have one game still to play in the tournament, but it almost feels like a, a victory for you, I think. It is. To be on a big stage, it is. That's a dream. And the dream comes true. <laughs> How hard has today been for you? I was, I was. I couldn't sleep. I was just nervous all the day. Um, I just. I was thinking, uh, just play your game, and you know you can do it, and it happened for me. It was unbelievable. <laughs> You knocked out the number one seed, Adam Hunt, as well. Looked like it was a fantastic performance from yourself. Yeah, every time I, you know I play Adam, he's always a good game. There's, I think I played him back in Wigan a couple of months ago, and there was two nine, there was two missed nine darters, and I think five of the legs were thirteen darters. So you know, it shows how good you know we, you know, every time I play Adam. So you know, just glad to win this one, really, more than anything. To get through it shows that you've also gained a lot of experience in the last couple of years, not just on the youth tour, but you, you've been playing on the pro tour as well. And you know, it's obviously great experience for you. Oh, without doubt, it's um, it's been good. I've what I've beat Taylor twice now. He's got his revenge on me, two-two at the moment. But you know, it's all good experience. And obviously, playing against the top, you know, the top seeds of the world, it's you know, it does. It's all down to experience at the moment. And thankfully. The experience I've had over the last two years has just managed to get me through to the O2, uh, you know, in May. So I'm quite, you know, really pleased with that. Yeah, have you had a chance to think what it'll be like yet playing in front of 10,000 fans in in such a great arena? In all fairness, when I played at Minehead against Mansur Sudovic, you know, it was only probably in front of about a thousand people, and that was the best experience of my life. So imagine what 10,000 is going to be ten times what you know I'm expecting to what what Minehead was. What do you know about Keegan Brown, who who you'll play on May the 22nd? I know he's unbelievable as well, <laughs> <laughs> like me. But I am. Both of us uh, knows that we can play good darts. The better player wins. So. Mm. This will be the first time for you in, on such a big stage. Do, do you think you'll be okay in front of the TV cameras? Hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Now um, I focus on it. Just keep practicing. We will see what happens. Today could be a, a very significant day for your darts career with what you know what comes from here with the final and also the Grand Slam of darts. It is. Yeah, it's a big step for me. Um, Really happy to get that. We'll see what happens in the future.